Now, I'm certain that everybody already knew this was going to happen at some point. Maybe not, um, but, all right, but we are back, and we are going to go ahead and do a full Gotenks team. Now, I might have done something like this similar in the past. I am not sure, but I know one thing is for sure now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it again. So, of course, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe if you're new for more content. Give me any recommendations that you guys want to see down below in the comments uh, as far as, like, any video, any game, whatever the case is, right? So, anyways, moving on. Uh, like I said, we are doing the full Go Tanks thing, right? So, some of these units are JP exclusive. I, I don't think JP ever got the physical uh, team Go Tanks, but other than that, of course, we know that they haven't gotten the tech one. Or it's JP, excuse me, Global hasn't gotten so here we go. Uh, he's a free-to-play unit. They handed him out, I believe, as a login. They gave out a couple of copies. Was not going to invest any sort of... Uh, and he's actually had these since the potential system came out, by the way. Was not going to invest any Kai's in him. You guys know my tech. I've been using him on the full SS3 Dragon Ball Heroes team. If you guys want to see that, the link will be down below in the description. And then, of course, we have this guy here. And there's no arrow there, so I'm not going to click there. <laughs> we have this guy who I recently showed off in a video. Uh, I brought their fathers. That's interesting. You know, their fathers. Or th their father, I guess. Uh, whatever. Uh, anyways, so we have that, and we also have, last but not least, STR Gotenks. I considered bringing STR Super Saiyan, but it would have been him or Physical, and of course, Physical is the better unit. But for now, let's go ahead and jump in. So we are going to... Uh, we'll give you that Super there, and we'll get going with that. Next, you can have this. And last but not least, you can have this. So, if you're wondering what the leader does, the physical, or excuse me, the Int, Go Tanks, and Ghost. Yes, the name is and Ghost. That's why it's possible to add him on the team as well, if you're wondering. If you're wondering, though, he is a two key, I believe, 30% leader. I'll go back and double check that. Now, I initially was not going to bring a Goku and Vegeta friend. Um, so, that's kind of why I took on this stage, because I was like, eh, they're really going to struggle with just. You know, this int go tanks and then a go tanks friend, but I couldn't find another one. So, two key 30% to this category, by the way. So, I couldn't find another one, so I was like, whatever, we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to leave the uh, two teen go tanks on rotation for the time being. So, no Super Saiyan is triggered here. Should have put him in the middle, but that's fine. We'll let you go with that. I believe he just does a generic Kamehameha, if I recall correctly. I have not seen that guy super attack in like two years, man. It has been a long time. Uh, okay. So this guy's going to do a Kamehameha. Maybe I'm, I'm misremembering it and thinking it's his. We'll see. Uh, is it a... Yep, same exact attack. Okay. <laughs> same exact sprite and same exact everything. The only thing that's different is the hair, literally. So I figured it was going to be another Kamehameha, and that's fair. I don't... You know, it's not a big deal. I don't really mind it. So... All right. The ghosts. Okay, so now we have STR Gotenks. Now, if you guys know anything about STR Gotenks, he needs to be in the front spot for the most part uh, to be able to trigger the best part of his passive. I'm going to go ahead and pull him up here because it's been a while. Apparently, I don't know everything about him anymore because they added something else to him on his uh, awakening that I, I am misremembering here. But anyways, nonetheless, we're going to let him go ahead and get the front spot super and then move on. And then, yes, if you were wondering, um, technically, right, if I had an extra copy of the teen Super Saiyan Gotenks that Doken awakens into Super Saiyan 3, he could have been on this team. So there was a possibility for me to do base form Super Saiyan and SS3 all on this team for the team teen Gotenks. So by the way, yes, it's teen, not adult. Um, that's what they're referring to him as in the game itself. So I'm guessing that he's not that old. So uh, any, any Dragon Ball Heroes nerds out there, let me know. That being said, we are going to continue to leave these guys on rotation together. We'll give you that, and you can have this super here. And for the most part, I'm going to really avoid Goku and Vegeta. You know, I, I really didn't want to use them, but I, like I said, there was no int friend. So I'm going to give you that super. It's just not going to do anything. SA1, I refuse to give him any Kais. Maybe if he gets an Awakening. Um, and again, like I said, I gave him that stuff before I even knew, like, what was good in the potential system or anything. But it was a foreign thing that had just come out of the game, basically. So a million damage there. By the way, the STR Gotenks uh, backtracking to that. Part of the reason why he wants to be in the front spot is because when he supers, he gives the allies a 20% attack increase for one turn. Now that is, he can activate that from any spot. Like he can trigger that here, but of course the other two have already have attacked, so they wouldn't be able to utilize it, right? They'd get the attack boost, but it, it wouldn't be uh, able to be utilized. But then another reason why he wants to be in the front spot for anybody wondering is because his passive, he gets 77% at the start of the turn. But he gets an additional 23 as the first attacker in a turn. I believe prior it was just 77 as the first attacker. and He didn't get anything otherwise. Uh, and it was just that. Yes, I just double-checked. So there we go. All right, speaking of which, can we get a crit? Oh, no crit. I don't even know if he can. Can he crit? I didn't, didn't double-check that. I feel like he has a solid amount of orbs. 
Because I, I feel like I gave him some more last night when I set this up. Uh, double, double, nah, maybe not. Yeah, he does. I was gonna say, like, I, because I just got some for the from the Vegeta EZA, so I know I had some of those. So we're gonna put you in the front spot. And if I remember anything about this event, and part of the reason too why I want to take on this event, by the way, is because I haven't played some of these events in a really long time. I, I was talking about that in a video I did a couple of days ago, where I was like, you know what, I kind of want to take on some of these older events again and use older units and just kind of live in the past a little bit. Not that I have a problem with the way things are now. It's just, it's just more or less like I have played a lot of the same stuff now, so I want to try to switch it up a little bit. But anyways, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do that. But I was going to say, like, if I remember correctly, this guy likes to super in the very front. Uh, but he is super, at, at the bare minimum, he almost always, every time I took it on, super turn one with him uh, coming out. So against SSBKK. So we are going to obviously go ahead and seal him up here. The cool thing, the beauty about these old events is that they, oh, wow, we're actually going to get this. I didn't think this would actually happen. The beauty of these old events is that they actually are not able to resist all of the, the status, you know, debuffs and stunning and sealing and all that stuff. Like, that's not something that's really going to happen. You know what? I am going to give this man a super because I think he, he obviously, right? He obviously deserves it. And then from here on out, I'm going to try to avoid him. We'll see. He's going to get max key there. Almost, anyway. I thought he was going to get maxed out. Two key shy. STR Go Tanks is not going to finish it unless he additional supers into a crit. It would have to be, I would assume. Thank you for the max HP. And we're going to go ahead and finish it off with the attack right here from Gogeta. El Padre. For the Go Tanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're going to move on. <laughs> Old event, though, but I'm not taking anything away from that man. He is an insanely good unit, and I can't wait to see what they do with uh, the DBS Gogeta and all that stuff. So, by the way, I'm gonna have a video going up sometime early this week talking about my predictions for what is going to happen for that uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie crossover. I'm not gonna talk about any anything else really, but just stay tuned for that. So we'll have that up early in the week. So we're taking on the old Golden Freeze event. I have not played this event in a long time either. It has been a while. So we are going to try to take out Sorbet here. I really don't think he will, but Fortunately, I have enough HP to kind of resist some of the stuff. And Gotenks in the last spot will actually go after Tagoma there. And of course, with type advantage, we should be able to do, you know, solid things this turn. We'll see. Um, we do take out Tagoma, I'm assuming there, right? Pretty sure we took out the Tagoma. Can we take out Sorbet with SA1? If he was SA10, yeah, for sure. Yeah, de if he was SA5, maybe even three, I don't know. Probably a closer to SA5 to seven. Okay, so I wish this would automatically target the opponent that has the least amount of HP. As opposed to automatically targeting the front unit. But the good news is we were able to seal up the Frieza. So we are going to put you in the front, or excuse me, stun the Frieza. Front spot for you. Give you this. Next up, you, uh, hmm, go tanks. You know what? I said I was going to avoid them. I'm going to let them actually take out the Shisami here because he's just kind of annoying. So we're gonna let him take out the sh them sh take out the Shisami. One key shy of their maximum to get the Ultra Super, but all good. Assuming we don't get any sort of additional supers, we should uh, finish this off in exactly three attacks. Of course, he's going to seal me, huh? Yep, there it is. Freaking Sorbet, get out, bro. <laughs> get out, <laughs> get out. Good news is I've already attacked, so get out. How do you like being sealed? Oh, additionals, I really, it's the weirdest thing how this Go Tanks leans to the side. It is the weirdest thing, man. I think he's the only unit that does something weird like that. You know, it, it, it's, such, it's such a weird thing that he does. He just leans to the side in the air. I don't know why. Okay. All right, but we do move on, and we are getting really close to the Dokkan attack, so that's cool. I think I'll give it to SS3 Adult, or Tech, or SS3 Teen, excuse me. It's really easy. The propensity to call him uh, anything is going to be Adult, because it's huge, right, versus the itty-bitty little kid one. Uh, so we're going to, I mean, I say this, but look how big his sprite is. There we go. And we'll give you that. Cool. All right. So Dokkan Attack is coming through. We have all of the links he would need for the most part trigger. These two are great allies. They link very well. So let's see what we can do right here. Wow. Oh my goodness. I clicked both of those early. <laughs> I clicked both of those literally a split second early. I was expecting it to pick up in speed. I was very, very anxious, so forgive me. We are going to come through, though. We're going to get crit. We're going to one-shot. That's what we're going to do right here. Watch. It's going to happen. I have already foreseen it. I have foretold it. We are going to do it. All right. Go, Tanks. Oh, All right. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. So this is AGL now, right? 
<laughs> it's AGL, right? AGL, AGL, and then Tech, and then AGL again. I believe that's how this goes. Shout out to this Frieza. He was once upon a time farmable in the um, Resurrection F event. No, it was the precursor to the Resurrection F event. It was like, I forget what it was called, but it, it was an event that literally never came back. It was, it, it came out right before the uh, Resurrection F event, and I, I swear to you, has never, ever come back because it wasn't meant to. It was just kind of like a one-time thing, but this guy was farmable in that event. Alongside other units like Cop Krillin, you know, stuff like that, and it just never came back. So, shout out to this guy. And then the Resurrection F event came out after. <laughs> All right, so SCR Gotenks is getting quite the beating here. Hopefully, we can come through with a critical hit. Critical hit to God. Cringy. Uh, 30k, okay. And... Can we get a crit here then? Now that you've ascended to Super Saiyan. There we go. We get that critical hit. It's so busted to be able to have potential system abilities versus these older stages because they simply weren't built with that type of stuff in mind. By the way, um, Frieza, just like SSB KK, a lot of times has the propensity to super attack. Oh, I should have given him a blue on the left. He has the propensity to super attack in the very um, first round. So he's probably going to do that here. But you know what? I'm going to go for the attack buff. He's probably going to super right here. He might not super in that front spot, but he's definitely super supering here. So we'll see. Uh, 15k. I figured you'd take quite a bit. He doesn't have any sort of defense. He's one of those units that's kind of a little bit older that just has no defense. I was hoping he would one shot, but he didn't get around to it. All good. So we'll freeze to actually not super. He did not super. Okay, cool. Sometimes he does it. A lot of times when I was taking on, he would super front round. Probably the second spot a lot of the time. 2.4, no crit from this Gotenks, by the way. Such an insane offensive monster. So we are now up against AGL yet again, but I believe this is the round where he just blows up the whole entire planet and you lose. <laughs> so we're going to try not to do that. <laughs> so, I, I mean, we're fine. I think I, even though this last unit isn't going to do any damage, I think that the other two are doing fine. He's going to hit me with the normal, and then the last spot is where he's going to do it. Oh, okay, he does a little countdown. Maybe it's a two-turn thing. It, I don't remember, honestly. It could be a two-turn thing. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're going to finish it off and move on, and we're going to play through one more event. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. It is so incredibly fun to be able to, you know, do wacky teams like this. So hopefully you guys can at least, you know, have fun experiencing it or live vicariously through me or things like that. So we are going to... Move on to our last opponent, our last opposition. If you guys have not seen the couple of Legends videos on the far right, Legends is getting pretty hype with a lot of the new stuff that's coming out. Make sure you check those videos out. They will be clickable right there, as you guys know, in the final 20 seconds. So we are going to put you right there. Do that. Yeah, boom, bang, and then do that. Get that super attack going. We're going to probably beat him before he even gets the opportunity to get super attacked by the Intego Tanks and Ghosts. I would actually like to see that, though, because I want to see the little ghosty. The little ghost. The little ghost. Uh, 546. 1.7 million attack. Not bad. You know, these guys are hitting very high damage caps, attack stat-wise. And that just goes to show how powerful those LR friend leaders are. Gogeta, Vegito, that type of stuff. 170 to attack is, is just such an insane boost. Of course, there are better units. Or more, not better units, but, like... A unit like LR Goku and Freeze, who does, I believe, 177, like stuff like that. It's outlandish, but it's, it's, this is why they make, you know, the free to play versions of the leader skills kind of trashy. Because when you take one of the main meta leaders and one of these together, you have a very good setup, you know, and stuff like that. So that's part of the reason why. Not that I'm saying I condone it, or, but I do understand it. So, like, it's crazy just to think about how well this team is outputting uh, damage. Of course, older events, so take it with a grain of salt. Also, like, the attack stats and stuff like that. Like, they're doing very good. I'm impressed, man. And, of course, not all these units are rainbowed, and you can actually build a better version of this team if you have other units and stuff like that. So, all right. 457, and you had type advantage. Get out. <laughs> just get out. Uh, we will go through and get a crit here. Watch. It's going to be a crit. It's going to be a crit and seal. No, no crit. Oh, man. All right, well, I said I was going to ignore them for the most part. I haven't seen them do too many supers, but maybe I wasn't paying attention, but that's fine. They are going to hopefully finish it off here, and we do finish it off. So let's move on to, I believe, the final phase. Yes, the final phase of the original Goku Black event. Shout out to this event because it finally got revamped with a new stage with the introduction of the Int Goku Black that just came out. So shout out to this event. We are going to leave the rotations exactly how they are, actually. 
I'm gonna try to buff the attack one more time to see if this phase, this setup can actually just kind of run through this. I will give Gotenks his 11 key super in the last spot too, and that should hopefully do it. I don't see why it wouldn't, but we'll see what happens. 30k, we'll live with that. 100,000 attack stat. We barely got there, but we made it, boys. We're here. We're here. All right, so let's see what these two do. Almost a million attack stat. Nice. Oh, nice. No damage, though, really. 2.2 million. Look at this, man. Can we get that crit? And we don't need the crit. Okay. So, thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like I said, the recommended videos are live on the screen right now. And make sure that you let me know in the comments down below what you guys want to see coming up soon. I am 100% open to suggestion. And we'll see what we can do. But other than that, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you get this video up to 800 likes here on the channel. Have an awesome day, everyone. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one.